Kim is hot on the case. Let's just hope that Ryan Stoppable doesn't get in the way. You're Nick. Your show. Totally new. Totally different. Totally. Hooray! Phantom Investigators. Don't miss the world premiere today at 11.30, 10.30 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. Today I'm joined by Daniel from the Box Cutter Podcast. Hi, my name is Daniel. I host and produce the Box Cutter Podcast, a podcast dedicated to the Disney show Out of the Box, but occasionally it talks about other TV shows and movies that um, people remember but don't give a lot of spotlight to. So I'm actually really happy to be doing this because this is um, not our first collaboration, but I mean, I still consider it part of our first collab. Yeah, your first video collab. There you go. My first YouTube video and my first collab. Yay. Do you want to tell them what we are watching today since you remember it and I don't? <laughs> sure. Um, so we're watching a show from the early 2000s uh, called Phantom Investigators. And um, I mentioned it to you um, in one of our chats uh, because, well, it just seems up your alley because it's very Scooby-Doo. It's very nancy drew with the investigator aspect but also it's got that camp horror type of b-movie type of feel to it i'm so excited it's just it's a stop motion cartoon and it just it deserves a lot more love than what than the attention it doesn't get that's great i'm really excited i'm excited too because i don't remember too much about it all right so we're gonna so we're doing all 13 episodes but we are going to do it randomly generated since you don't have to watch um in order i don't think yeah and we're gonna ping pong it between our two channels so i'll have a playlist mm -hmm. uh you'll probably have a playlist it'll take you between the two yeah. of our channels we'll each have math we'll, mm -hmm. we'll each have about half of them yeah number is 10 wikipedia has the, the episodes listed in a different order oh god i'm actually excited because 10 was the thumbnail that jumped out to me the most <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's already so much. Phantom Investigators. Phantom. Oh my gosh. There's so many different art styles going on at once. It's very B-movie. I love it. This reminds me very much of Crash Box, which my brother was obsessed with when we were kids. So this show is about a bunch of kids, like Scooby-Doo-esque, like they're just like solving a bunch of like mysteries, but they're... They're actually paranormal. Yeah. Yeah, they're actually supernatural. Located entirely within this specific region in nice. wherever the heck they live. So it's like a Gravity Falls situation. Yeah, it's kind of like that. After school, I'll take you to my Kung Fu class. I just realized, oh, it's always in the 2000s. They always have the Asian character be the one to know martial arts. I know, it's, it's very stereotypical. It's like, come on. But it's not an offensive one. I'm not saying it's okay, but I mean, it doesn't hurt yeah. the, the image per se. Run for it! Monster in the showers! Monster in the showers! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Monster in the showers! Monster in the showers! They're like, well, my friend might be dead. <laughs> we don't know. Psst. Demona! Demona. That's her name, Demona. One away from demonic. Here's the answers to last year's biology final. Great, this should really help me study for this year's exam. I'm just fascinated by the fact that their faces are cardboard cutouts, but their bodies are claymations. Well, actually, um, their bodies aren't cardboard cutouts. They're like magnetic attachments. Oh, oh okay, okay. So the base of their face is just a metal plate and then they just attach different expressions that's really cool with all the work we've been doing as pis i haven't had time to study i hate to sideswipe a conversation about domona cheating kira but has anyone besides me noticed the new kid i like the fact that they're paranormal investigators but the new kid is the newest is the most interesting thing i mean it seems out of the blue that this new kid is very angsty yeah, it's true. Run for it! There's something in the showers! Ew! This school has a budget because they ha all the kids have the shower room robes. I was just gonna say that. I was like, since when? Must be a nice little private school or must be a nice little school that the parents pay high taxes for. Yeah. Maybe we should check it out. Ugh! What? Pimply boys in towels. Too creepy. I'm with Demona. Boys in locker rooms? <sighs> 
check please well at least they're nice and not and um you know the girls aren't going boy crazy about yeah. going in the boy locker room that's true ah what these old gym clothes freak from now on could you say ah for important things it's like don't psych me out scan it jericho quick steam demon no wait hold your guys this is like an evp monitor but more yeah but more detail because it tells you what kind of apparition you're dealing with. There! Sprite! On the blue readout! Oh! See? I was looking at the green. Don't move a muscle! So they're dealing with the steam sprite? You're gonna get steam cleaned! Come on! Let's blow this joint! This feels like the origin story of, uh, Ghost Adventures. Me? Just came to do a little steam cleaning. Oh my god, it's a superhero kid. A piece of gum? That's nasty. Ew, it was on the floor and everything. We've got powers too. We're part of a team, the Phantom Investigators. Uh, Case, maybe he'd take you a little more seriously if he took the tidy whities off your head. Oops. That's disgusting. But also, who's doing the laundry for all these kids? Why are they just putting know, their right? stuff in a random hamper? That's the nasty thing. Move it, Gumwad. Hey, I'm tanning here. And what's that supposed to do? Make you taste more cinnamony? Oh my god, it's a sentient wad of gum. Yeah, it's either, 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 either gum sprite or a wad of gum sprite, whatever. Scram! Oh. You're not really going to open that envelope, are you? Look. It's just to help me get an idea of the kinds of questions Fickman asks. Life lessons, cheating is bad. But cheating is what most people did to get that degree. To help you get a better grade than you deserve? Ah, leave her alone. I like seeing her lead toward the dark side. It's a gray area. Yeah. There's someone here we really think you should meet. What an entrance. What did, what did we say about bringing people to the attic? Without proper introductions, that is. I'm Kira. Kira. Okay, but you saw him in the cafeteria earlier, and you weren't going boy crazy all of a sudden. Now you see him up close and personal. Cool, huh? Ew. That's disgusting. I have questions. Hey, Joey's sure done his homework. I'm like Demona. I don't know. Watch a little bit of a gaslighter. Okay, okay. I'll be under the bed if anyone needs me. Oh my god, I don't know why they chose to make the voice. He sounds like he smokes multiple packs a day, but that's just so funny. You can use your powers for instant fashion? I'm a shadow cop. He's a paranormal kid cop. Shadow cop? Where have I heard that before? Nether realm law enforcement. He's not a good cop. <laughs> He's not a good cop. He's a very bad cop. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a police channel. You kids will have to clear the airwaves. This is out of his jurisdiction. Why is this netherrealm cop coming over to Earth? Mr. Hurl, party of four. This is giving uh, Doctor Strange I've come to bargain vibes. You are charged with interfering in netherrealm business. Sijak's court, now serving number one million and two. Sijak? Who's Sijak? Sijak is law and order here in the nether realm. Oh. He is judge, jury, and executioner. And he must want you real bad. Promise me a promotion just for nabbing you guys. We all know how this ends. He doesn't get the promotion and they end up being betrayed. It's very predictable. But it's in a B-movie type of way. Yeah. I can't believe I thought you were cute. You think I'm cute? Thought? I do love how she's like, I can't believe I thought the dirty cop was attractive. Well, well, well. That isn't the famous Phantom Investigators. Oh my god. You're a lot more puny in real life, aren't you? I wouldn't be making comments about looks if I were you. This is why I was I was drawn to this episode specifically. Ooh, sarcasm. You must be Kira! It's giving a B-movie version of uh, Tim Curry and Legend. Very good work, Joey. You may consider yourself promoted. I'm just astounded in a good way of how this is like... I'm, I'm very convinced that he's talking to them. Yeah, he's really committed. And you four kids are messing with the supernatural scheme of things! 
respectable. Silence! Proceed with the evidence! You think they're guilty or innocent? Mm, nothing burns me more than a bunch of do-gooder mortals! We don't do all good. Yeah, Damon is about to cheat on a bio test. I just love the live action, the stop motion, the puppetry. It's really cool. Yep, it's the love letter to B movies. I was just trying to do my job. Eat everything in sight. Okay, so these are the past uh, monsters that they caught. Yeah, these are the past monsters they caught. Now I'm just a little shrunken cheese ball. <laughs> we all feel like a little shrunken cheese ball sometimes. You and your silence are really working my last nerves. <laughs> Note to self, whenever you cross into another plane that you know nothing about, do not, you know, get bold. The trial is concluded! You talk about rules, but this was no fair trial. Even in this cyber kangaroo court, there are rights. The kid's right, Sijak. They're supposed to get an attorney. And for your disrespect, you can forget about that promotion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm, well, see... I, they had me in the first half. You are hereby condemned to the Colosseum to battle Netherrealm gladiators to the end. Your demise will be televised for the enjoyment of all. Oh god, it's like the Hunger Games. True, it is. Because if you win, you go free. That's fair. The more I look at the at the brain texture on on the costuming of the of this demon, it looks like a like a powdered wig. Yeah. With the ringlets. Yeah. No one ever wins! Oh, this is horrifying. The execution of judgment! We're on the right side. I just hope we're on the winning side. I mean, just because they face off against paranormal beings doesn't mean that they're ever in grave danger. They're just 12 year olds. Yeah. You okay, Demona? Yeah, thanks. Sure, just not the person who got cut. Oh gosh, I was gonna say, that's that who got injured. Hey, are you okay, person that ducked out of the way? Oh, I'm not hugging you, person that almost got hit. You're fine. You can shrink me, can me, and even zip me, but you do not rip my favorite teeth. Yes, it is. If I'm wearing one of my favorite outfits and it gets messed up, nothing gets me more riled up. Yup. Some things are worth fighting for. Fashion just happens to be one of <laughs> Here's to my first day off in 17 weeks. 17 weeks, damn. On that grind. The Phantom Investigators! Do they get into trouble? Look out! Ah! <laughs> Ooh, electrocution. Great! Genius! But is the goldfish in the bowl okay? <laughs> if you had to be one of them, what power would you have? Ooh. Wait, I'm not sure which powers they all have. Go to the Nether Realm and bust them out! On foot? Walking? Come on. He does not care at all what happens to these kids. Just because you're a bad luck demon, you don't have to have a bad luck attitude. So one of them is a gum sprite, and the other is a bad luck demon. Okay. Bad luck! Bad luck! Good luck! Good luck! So is this a universe where this kind of thing is normal, or do their parents not know? <laughs> it's a prototype. The blades can cut through dimensions like a chainsaw through jelly. Jelly doesn't have a shape. Can you actually... Is it considered cutting through it, or are they just spreading it out? Oh, gosh. It's true. It would probably just be spreading it. <laughs> So wait, are those are those gladiators stop motion or are they like more of a marionette type of setup? Knock knock, nobody's home. Ooh, they clotheslined the zombie. Congratulations, justice has prevailed. Nobody is going anywhere. You can't do that. Not so fast. You'll... Time for your destruction. Oh my god, I would be, I would have been so scared of this as a child. It's good to be the supreme voice of law and order. Isn't that just a commentary on the law system? I think so. Kid shows always gave the best commentaries on the law system. And the guy who's sorry he got the four of you into this mess. How touching! Obviously, you feel a kinship to others I've cheated. Oh, how nice. You, gave a, you have a kinship with the criminals. Out of my way, Shadowcop! The name's Joey! But you're not the, the COP. The chief of police. But, oops! No time left to say goodbye! Yeah, I just want to know who this guy is. Like, that actor is really, uh, really giving it his all. Grab on, P.I. I'll get you, P.I.s, if it takes all the power of the Netherrealm. I think he plays 
I'm I'm not a hundred percent because I haven't seen the show since I was six. But I think he they use the same actor to play most of the ghosts because most of the ghosts seem to be from the intro. They look live action. Those the answers to that biology test? Yeah, but I decided even if it isn't technically cheating, it still makes me like Psyjack. Life lesson. Well, really, the idea to use the ectocopter was mine. What was it scared as a little kid? I like the design of the little bad luck demon. Jinxie, behind you! It's Psyjack! Ah! So, if you had to pick a power to have, so they have, um, what is it, clairvoyance, or not clairvoyance, or actually it is clairvoyance, um, telekinesis and shape-shifting, because Demona does not have a power. Okay, clairvoyance, telekinesis, and shape -shift. ooh. Kira can read, or she can project thoughts and read minds, that's, uh, ESP, there we go, ESP, that's the word, ESP. Yeah. And then Jericho is the one that can do telekinesis, and then... I think his name is Casey, the one with the glasses. He can shape shift. I think most practically would be telekinesis. Although, like, I'd probably use it for, like, really dumb things. Like, uh, like, just like, oh. Like Matilda. I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, just like, I'm just gonna turn this light off from across the room because I don't want to get mm -hmm. up. I feel like in practice, that's how I would use it. But I would want to use it as, like, a cool superhero. I don't know. I think I'd want ESP simply because I don't need anyone sneaking up on me. <laughs> that's true. That's a good one too. You can just I don't know. If you're if you're by yourself, walk into your car or whatever, just you know, keep it in your thought and then you'll know if there's anybody nearby or nothing. That's true, yeah. Or if there's like I don't know, if if there's like some crazy stuff happening and you need to know if somebody's okay and like a panic crowd. Yeah, that's true. You could pretty tap sure into you could their... single out that person. Or if there's a house fire, just be like, Meet in the front yard. Yeah, that's true. That would be, that would actually be pretty cool. Not the most direct, but they're, I don't know, for me, I think there's plenty of reasons. Oh, yeah. Or if, or if you don't want to say something out loud about someone being sketchy with, yeah. like, something they're selling, you just, like, look at the person, like. Yeah, I think you've sold me. I think that's actually <laughs> the best one to pick. I think that's the, that's the correct option. All right, so, what are your thoughts? I really like, it's honestly, like, it's something that, like, I feel like. I've come a long way with my relationship with stop motion because I probably would have been terrified of it two years ago. But right now, I just appreciate how creative it is because it's like so many different art forms together. I just think it's really cool. It's it's unlike any other kids show, really. Yeah, I mean, it looked like a labor of love. It looked mm -hmm. like an homage to B movies because it had stop motion and it had like the very campy sort of. It wasn't too scary. There yeah. was plenty of action. Yeah, it just combines many different types of styles into one cartoon. And I don't know, it does feel like um it didn't it wasn't necessary, but you could tell that the people who made it loved really cared, doing yeah. it because they you know, they didn't have to do that stop motion. They didn't have to, you know, do the the type of claymation that they were doing. So it could have just been a straight cartoon. It's so interesting, too, because looking up the credits, it's, like, everybody does various voices, so, like, all of the actors were doing, like, multiple things. I think that's really cool. Or, you know, it could have been that they were on a budget. <laughs> it could be that, too, but, you know, you gotta love it for them being able to pull it off. Yeah. All right. I will, we will leave you guys here, but be sure to go and check out the playlist that will be in existence. Um, mm -hmm. There will be... More episodes in the future here, but also episodes on Daniel's channel, so it'll be a really fun project between the two of us. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. Thank you, Daniel, for being here, as always. Thank you. Uh, if you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around, because I post nonsense all the time. And remember if... Uh, wait, what's the end of it? <laughs> and remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye!